Google's gonna be using AMD for their phones. And we got the RTX 4060. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, March 17th, 2023. I got that right. But what I didn't get right was the giveaway date for this PC right here. This is the 7950X3D7900 XTX PC, all wrapped up in the NZXT H9 Flow. You see, originally we were supposed to be giving it away today, live on stream over on Twitch, but unfortunately, because my wife is out of the country, she's traveling and gallivanting all across South Africa without me, I unfortunately cannot operate the giveaway today, but it's only being postponed by one week. And if you want to participate in it, you just come watch us over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple, and we will definitely 100% be selecting the winner next Friday. I knew this was a chance where I would lose my marbles while my wife was gone, and now uh, it's it's come to fruition, but it's a free 7950X3D PC. What are you going to do about it? I know what NVIDIA is going to do about their GPUs. There was a report that came out earlier this week that NVIDIA said that they were going to be using Intel to make their next-gen graphics cards because they said in an interview that they would absolutely be using Arizona, which is in fact where one of the major fabrication facilities for Intel is located. However, Intel had to come out and be like, uh, we have no contract with NVIDIA for producing their graphics cards. Uh, we don't know what this is about. And that's because they're gonna be using the TSMC Arizona fabrication facility for their GPUs, not Intel. So in case you heard, Intel is making NVIDIA GPUs. It's not happening. But what might be happening is Google is gonna be using AMD for their GPUs in their upcoming phones. The reports are coming out that the next generation Tensor G3 processors from Google are gonna be running off of a modified version of the Samsung Exynos 2300, which happens to have AMD's RDNA graphics into it. The reports are that it's actually gonna be on Samsung's third generation four nanometer process, which one of the big issues that we found with AMD's mobile graphics was the fact that they were just too hot. They consumed too much power and running them on a smaller node might potentially alleviate some of that problems. According to the reports, the CPU side of things should be pretty okay. The GPU side of things, likely not gonna be very fast from what we've seen out of the Samsung Exynos chips in the past, but Google might be going for that in the Tensor 3 so that they can bring AMD inside your phone. But what they can't do is prevent leaks from happening of their phones at all. This has been a historical problem with Google in regards to their Pixel devices. And now the Pixel 7a is the latest to be, be fallen to this. It's supposed to launch in June, but it's already available for sale over on eBay. Somebody has the phone, they have it listed, they say it does not go into any sort of operating system. It's in fast boot mode only, and it got up to a bid of $2,500 as of the time of this article on 9 to 5 Google being written. However, as of the time of me recording this video, it's been pulled off of eBay completely saying the listing was ended by the seller because the item is no longer available and there are zero bids and the amount went down to $1,650. So it does look like Google probably got to this person. I hope they're staying safe. I hope Reese is safe because I'm going to get to him one day. One one of these days I'm going back. Okay, my wife went, I gotta go sometime. Yo, welcome back to YFT Deals, bringing you the hottest tech deals out on the internet. And first things first, happy birthday to the Steam Deck. I've been waiting for this for YFT Deals for ages because it's on sale for the first time ever. The 64 gig model is currently going for only $359.10, which is $40 off. The 256 gig variant has dropped from $529 to $476.10. And the big boy 512 gig Steam Deck is sitting at $584.10, which is $65 off. But if building a PC is more you think and you're on the budget side then this team group team elite ddr5 ram kit might be for you this 32 gig kit is sitting on the slower side of ddr5 at 4800 megahertz at cl40 but on the plus it's only 74 dollars 99 which is 40 dollars off and honestly when the budget becomes budgetier it's a good day but next up we have the bayer dynamic dt 990 pro open back headphones going for only 109 dollars 99 which is 69 dollars and one cent off nice i love these i used to steal brett's all the time back in the office but and last but not least, friends and channel sponsors Jawa have asked me, Hey Reese, do you want to take a look at our custom PC section and see if anything tickles your fancy? I found the one. This super clean budget gaming PC listing from someone with the best dang username, I sell my stuff here, is sitting in an NZXT H510 case featuring a Ryzen 7 2700X, a ROG Strix B550F gaming Wi-Fi 2 motherboard, a Gigabyte Aorus RX 5700 XT graphics card, 
Team Group's T-Force Delta RGB RAM with a specific 16 gig kit running at 3200 MHz at CL16, a Thermaltake 550 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, a hectare ton of case fans and a Western Digital SN530 512 gig NVMe SSD along with another Western Digital 500 gig SATA SSD. I think at the price drop of $550 this is one heck of a PC and homie says he needs to sold ASAP before he moves so I think one of us can do that for him and get a nice PC in the process. Also if you do pick this up drop it in the discord because I kind of want to see. And like always the links to all these and more will be in the video description down below but until next time I'm gonna hand you off back to Brad for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thanks buddy great deals. You know it's not a good deal but I'm gonna probably do it anyway. Starlink officially rolling out their global roaming plan for $200. This is part of their rebranding of their Starlink for RVs plan. It's now going to be called Starlink Roam. And if you're using it domestically in the regional roaming plan, like here in the United States, it's only $150 a month, which is an increase from the $135 that it used to be. But if you want to take it internationally, you're looking at $200 per month. But you can likely change your service depending on what you need, which we're planning on several international streams. Again, I'm talking about going to South Africa, I would love to do like a cannonball in South Africa from Pretoria to Cape Town. That would be it's not the cannonball, but it's the same general idea. Mount the Starlink to the roof of like a Hyundai H1, put that up there and just drive down the whole N1. Or we are potentially planning on driving out to LTX in July. And because I would be crossing into the border, I might need Starlink Global in order to do that. So it's good for me. I have the mobile ones that we can do on the road live streams, but it's, it's a little pricey noodle. And what appears to be good for some and not for others, the UK announcing that they are banning TikTok from government phones. This is a move that's been done in many other regions. The US has already done this with government officials, with the UK saying the security of sensitive government information must come first. So today we are banning the app on government devices. The use of other data extracting apps will be kept under review. And this is on top of the fact that TikTok CEO came out yesterday and said that, hey, the US is officially trying to shut us down because they say that we have to be sold off from our parent company ByteDance or they're gonna ban us in the US completely. However, this is a one-sided conversation. At the time of recording, it's only TikTok who's saying the US has said that they're going to outright ban them. And TikTok has a response to this thing that the US government has, hasn't said publicly, but allegedly said to them behind the scenes that divestment doesn't solve the problem. A change in ownership would not impose any new restrictions on data flows or access because TikTok is alleging that they're not passing along this data to the Chinese government. But there's news if you are a user of TikTok and you're not getting rid of it anytime soon, in case you want to reset your For You page, TikTok has that refresh rolling out. They announced that this was going to be a test and now it's officially here in case you want to stop seeing all those. I didn't do that. I didn't do shit. I didn't do that. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. I'm done. Do what you want. I didn't do that. But while TikTok may or may not be for you, I can guarantee you this is for me. Kia finally showing off the production version of their EV9. I've been enamored by this vehicle ever since they showed off their prototype, which had suicide doors because I thought it'd be very good for me and my special needs son to get him into the vehicle. But they got rid of those into production as many people speculated that they would. Even though we don't have pricing or battery range info, what we do have are some glimpses on the design of the interior, which for me is incredible because it has swivel interior your seat so they can be either forward facing or rear facing which is incredible or to get my son into the vehicle it can face towards the side this is one of the coolest evs i've seen in a while this would make a lot of accessibility functions for me a lot easier i don't know if i'm going to be able to pick it up considering the price of the ev6 considering the price of the kia telluride i'm expecting this is probably going to come in right around that price point we're looking you know 70 80 thousand dollars that's that's a tough pill to crack, I'll tell you that much. And Microsoft's looking to crack the tough pill of getting AI to help do your work for you with them showing off and revealing Microsoft 365 Copilot, which will help to use AI to automate everyday tasks in their variety of productivity apps where allegedly it can take a PowerPoint and make that out of a Word document, even applying animations or styles, or it can break down Excel data based on you telling it what to do, saying that it's running on GPT-4 technology. However, it's not quite ready for anybody to really test publicly they do say that they have 20 business customers who are using it at the moment and they plan to expand access in the coming months with no details of pricing or when that availability is going to take place. This is coming days after Google announced that they're going to be bringing AI into their suite of productivity tools like Gmail or Docs and Sheets and all of those other things. Google has a less robust forward facing public AI, Microsoft obviously using what's being produced by OpenAI. I do think that Microsoft will likely have the upper hand here. We're going to have to wait to see more. 
but even though AI is getting implemented everywhere, some stuff's getting removed in some places. MSI is removing DDR4 motherboards because they want you to move on over to DDR5. According to reports, they have no plans to stock their 700 series Intel motherboards with DDR4, which was something that Intel did in order to help ease the transition into DDR5, making dual generation motherboards. And MSI not going to be renewing up the Z790 Edge, Z790A Wi-Fi, the Z790P, or the B670 Mortar. The DDR4 versions of those, so you're going to have to upgrade to DDR5. This is likely just going to be next generation from Intel, likely only going to be DDR5. AMD has already fully made the switch, so just start saving now for the extra RAM money. Start saving now for the extra GPU money, too. You probably should have started saving six years ago in order to afford the GPUs that are coming out. But we have pictures of RTX 4070 Ti and 4060, which I know the 4070 Ti is already out, but this is the Founders Edition that never actually officially got released. The pictures being showed of the PCB and the backside of the cooler that should have launched with the 4070 Ti, but inevitably never did. We do see that the Founders Edition board did make its way into third party partner cards like this one right here on the right, except for it doesn't have the cutout on the PCB like Nvidia's does. It's not quite clear why Nvidia never launched a reference edition of the 4070 Ti, but it looks like they might launch a reference edition of the 4060. Or is this the 4060 Ti? Because that's what the leaker is saying. While it does say very clearly RTX 4060, the leaker is saying that for some reason that they're not disclosing, Nvidia might make this the 4060 Ti, which could potentially mean that they're just gonna charge more, even though this is the 4060 or what they wanted it to be the 4060, they're just gonna call it the Ti and then charge you more for it. That sounds reasonable. That sounds like an Nvidia move. I. Would not discount that in the slightest. It does look to be slightly different than the current 40 series GPUs that are out there. I can't tell if it's just the coloring in the picture, if that's actually silver. It does look like it could potentially be a white rim, but it's likely silver just that with different lighting that I'm not used to. But the 4060 is supposed to only have 3072 CUDA cores, which is a significant cut down from the RTX 4070. If they bumped that up to be the 4060 Ti, they just shifted this over right on over here. I don't know what they do with the 40. 60 Ti, what would they call that? The 4070 8 gig edition? And then they just charge 749 for this. They charge 649 for this bad boy, charge 549 for the RTX 4060 or 599. Who knows what type of craziness Nvidia is gonna get up to with all of this? Not me. I don't, but I know that I've seen the pictures and I wonder what's gonna happen. And what's gonna happen right now is I'm done with hot news. We'll see you back here on Monday for more of the hottest tech news out on the internet. Don't forget that we are giving away this PC on the floor, which I'm not picking up again. 7950X3D, 7900XTX. I'd love to see you over on Twitch in case you get a moment until the next week.